YouTube, it's your boy Urban Mons Inc. Representing that positivity and that motivation. Hey, listen, man. Welcome back to another episode of Nutrition Talk, okay? Man, I am a certified ISSA, International Sports Science Association, nutritionist, personal trainer, strength and conditioning coach, and I'm currently working on the Transformation Specialist Certification. Okay, I have over 10 years plus experience in this and I love fitness, I love health, and I love wellness. When it comes to losing weight, when it comes to exercising, when it comes to fitness, something that a lot of people do, which is probably the biggest mistake, is rewarding themselves with food for everything, okay? And you gotta get out of the habit of that. In order to make a new habit stick, you need to do it for 10 days effectively before you know, you're able to stick to it and it is uh, gonna produce longevity in your nutrition and your health, okay? So if you have the habit of saying, hey, you know what? I got up on time this morning and because I got up on time, I'm gonna reward myself with a donut. Or, you know what? Man, I made it up the whole flight of stairs today. I'm gonna reward myself with a number one from McDonald's. As Americans, man, we have the habit, which is a bad habit, of celebrating everything with food. Anytime we reward ourselves, it comes with food. I'm gonna get a candy bar because I did this. And when it comes to health and fitness, I don't want you to reward yourself in that manner. We have to develop a new habit. And if we can get you to incorporate the new habit for 10 or more days, then the chances are you're gonna be able to stick with it. Okay, some people have the concept that I worked out all week long and I deserve one cheat meal a week. Okay, check this out. I gotta, I gotta burst your bubble on that one. Just because you worked out uh, seven days a week or five days a week doesn't mean you should reward yourself with anything. If you working out is not conducive and you haven't produced any results, then what are you rewarding yourself for? So let's talk about it. Now, just working out in itself is good. But what if you're the person who doesn't track your nutrition, doesn't track your macros, your calories? You go to the gym only to go to McDonald's afterwards and get this number one and things like that. And then at the end of the week, you still think you are entitled and deserve more reward. And that's the furthest thing away from the truth because even though you worked out, it would have been better if you would have just ate at home, not worked out, and didn't go to McDonald's. You probably would have had better results, okay? Um, also, there's a time and a place to reward yourself, and there's different levels of reward that you can have. Say, for instance, you like um, sushi. Say, for instance, you like seafood. You like hamburgers and things like that. You can fit all these types of different meals and treats and things like that into your calorie count without them ever being considered a cheat meal or a reward. Now, the best time for somebody is somebody who's been dieting, you know, somebody who's been tracking their macros, trying to lose weight, trying to burn fat, and you hit a plateau. Those are the most enjoyable moments because at that point, I can introduce an additional 500 to 1,000 calories into your daily regimen to get your metabolism revved back up to break you out of that plateau. That's one way that you can break out of plateaus. Now for that, you have been putting in work and the reward makes sense because your body needs it. Your metabolism needs the excess of calories. But on a daily basis, I eat things that I thoroughly enjoy and don't consider them cheat meals or rewards or anything like that. I count my macros, I make sure I don't, I hit my macros, I make sure I don't go over the macros or the calorie count, and it's just that simple. We gotta develop habits of not excessively rewarding ourselves that's gonna end up damaging and be negative, have a negative impact on the results we want for weight loss, fat burning, better health, better wellness and fitness and things like that. Man, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Check out both links in the description. Coupon codes will save you 10% off your entire cart. Every day we're getting closer to something, closer to God, closer to success, closer to information. What are you getting close to? 
Again, this is your boy Urban Minds Inc. Shooting it gun barrel straight.